Number 16, this is attractively toned 1964 Deer Woods with Diamond MS67 condition with full bands. The process of toning is caused by a variety of factors, including exposure to air, moisture, and chemicals. It is a natural process that takes time and it's not always consistent. This means that the natural tone coins are scarce, especially in superb gem grades, and they are therefore more valuable than the coins that have been artificially toned. Dominant charcoal copper obverse toning yields to the splash of more vivid gold, blue, and pink iridescence towards the lower right border. Untoned on the reverse with smooth surfaces and billowy mint frost throughout. It was sold for $920. Number 15. Here is 1951 D. Roosevelt Diamond MS67 condition with full torch. Virtually pristine and conditionally rare for the issue. As such, Z Superb Gem exhibits lovely obverse toning in iridescent sandy apricot, salmon pink, and champagne gold. The reverse is essentially brilliant and both sides possess a full endowment of smooth satin luster. It ended up selling for $1110. Number 14, this is 1971 S. Eisenhower dollar in MS67 condition. Comes with star designation from NGC. This beautiful superb gem is toned in multicolored iridescence that is most vivid at the borders. It is smooth and attractive, a pinnacle for an advanced Eisenhower dollar collector or toning enthusiast. Number 13. This is 1924 D. Lincoln Sentinel MS65 brown condition. Comes with CEC sticker on the PCGS holder. Iridescent pinkish rose and steel blue undertones pierce through an overlay of medium copper patina as the surfaces rotate under the light. Boldly struck throughout, a very unusual characteristic of this often weakly defined date, a smooth satiny gem that makes a very positive impression on the eye. It ended up selling for $2,880. Number 12, this is 1979 Lincoln Cent in 68 red condition. The Philadelphia Mint coined 6 billion Lincoln Cents in 1979, yet only 12 pieces have been similarly certified at PCGS. This glowing orange super gem has, been, has both design motifs with frosty luster and sensational eye appeal. It is destined for the finest collection, $5,462.50. Number 11, here is 1971 Lincoln Sand with double dye of worse, graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. Moderate dye doubling is seen on all of worst letterings. On this guidebook variety, magnification is usually needed to spot the doubling. The doubling is strongest on the word liberty and in the word in God we trust. The carbon free surfaces show well struck design elements and satiny copper red luster. The variety is rarely seen this fine. It was sold for $5,640. Number 10. This is 1965 Roosevelt Time struck on a 90% silver planchet, graded as AU55 by NGC. This is one of the most popular wrong planchet errors in today's market, a transitional one that involves a 90% planchet that the mint ceased using for regular issue dime production in 1964 with 1965 dated dies from the first year of regular issue, copper nickel clad coinage. According to Stax Bowers, otherwise properly struck, although accuracy does compel us to mention trivial softness of detail along the left of worse and upper reverse borders. Boldly to sharply defined elsewhere with bright brilliant white surfaces that retain appreciable mint luster. It was sold for $7,800. Number 9, this is 1970s Lincoln Cent with double diverse graded in mint state 63 red by PCGS. The doubling is boldest towards the left sides of Liberty and in God we trust, but it is visible throughout the legends as well as zero in the date. Both sides show pleasing brick red color, a scrape is noted between the bust of Lincoln and the date. These along with some light flecks account for the grade. The Cherry Picker's Guide calls is definitely one of the rarest of all Lincoln scent varieties. It was sold for $6,325.
Number 8. This is 1971 OS Jefferson Nickel graded in PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This conditional rarity is among the finest in OS 1971 proof Jefferson Nickel certified. According to Heritage, this is conditional rarity is among the finest in OS 1971 proof Jefferson Nickel certified. The needle sharp motifs are starkly contrasted against liquid like mirrored fields, and both sides exhibit a hint of warm light golden toning. It ended up selling for $8,100. Number 7. Here is 1942 Jefferson Nickel struck on a silver alloy. Graded as good 6 by PCGS, extremely rare transitional error. 1940s redated sand struck on a copper planchets. Bring spectacular prices, but similar wartime wrong alloy transitional errors on Jefferson Nichols are significantly rarer. The present lot is struck sans mint mark type 1 dies, yet is struck in the silver alloy composition associated with the type 2 design bearing the large P mint mark above Monticello. This error coin ended up selling for $9,987.50. Number 6. This is 1972 Lincoln Sand with double diverse, graded as MS67 read by PCGS. According to Heritage, only, only the 1955 and 1969 as double die sands are more obvious than the 1972. These amazing super gem exhibits fiery orange mint luster with reflective surfaces and eye appeal galore. The word liberty is also doubled towards the south, the words in God we trust on the obverse are also strongly doubled towards the east. It was sold for $12,925. Number 5. Here is 1949 Roosevelt Diamond 68 condition with full bands, vividly toned specimen. According to Stax Powers, the obverse is painted in rich bands of colorful iridescence that intensify at the right border, showing a blend of teal, violet, and magenta hues. The reverse remains virtually brilliant, save for the slight dusting of oil patina visible under scrutiny. It fetched the sum of $13,200. Number 4. This is 1973s Kennedy of Dollar. Error. Double struck, both strikes off center. Graded as PR68 Ultra Cameo by NGC, the color dye was not deployed and the planchet was fed widely off center toward 8 o'clock. The second strike was west of the first strike. Remnants of the first strike include the three in the dates trust as a Kennedy's profile. Due to flying expansion, most of the design is present, though the tops of the L in Liberty and the ED in the United are incomplete. It ended up selling for $15,600. Number 3. This is 1990 OS Lincoln sent in PR69 Red Deep Cameo Condition. Essentially flawless and fiery red, this key Lincoln memorial scent is meticulously struck superb gem. Mirrored fields are so deep they appear black under the direct light, surrounding frosted orange-red devices. The stippled field texture seen on this scent is characteristic of the no S proofs. This interesting and rare modern proof variety projects to have a surviving population of fewer than 200 coins, making it a must-have rarity for serious Lincoln scent collector. It ended up selling for $19,975. Number 2. Here is 1983 Lincoln Sand struck on a copper planchet, graded as MS62 Red and Brown by PCGS. A transitional alloy mint error reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper sand. Though the zinc plated steel set was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper sand planchets found their way between 1983 dies. Perhaps the planchet lodged in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed some time later. An orange red and apple green example that has good strike and minor reverse abrasions, it was sold for $23,500. Number 1, and this is amazingly rare proof 1975 Noah's Roosevelt Dime, auctioned within a proof set comprised of Bicentennial Kennedy, Bicentennial Eisenhower dollar. Centennial Washington Quarter, 1975 S. Jefferson Nickel, 1975 Lincoln Cent. According to Rongas, only two examples of 1975 No S. Dime are known. 
The first coin was discovered in 1975, proof set, in 1977. The extreme rarity of 1975 Noah's proof time can be explained in two ways. The error was first the error was discovered at the mint in a time to stop press, but not before a small quantity of sets had, had already gone out the door. The coins were deliberately made. This explanation is not as far-fetched as it may seem, because other remarkable proof errors emerged from San Francisco Mint during the early 1970s. This lot fetched the sum of $349,600. Stay tuned for more exciting content and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to unlock more valuable insights. Happy coin collecting!